Hello, uh, welcome to Cost and Management Accounting 86. In this video, I want to look at uh, it, uh, it's question, a question paper of June at 2025. And we're going to look at the question on a standard costing. So, uh, this is our question four. Uh, it reads a bed seat makes laptops and uh, bags using genuine leather. So, uh, you're given information to make one bag, uh, that is standard information, uh, that you're given, uh, in the at uh, the beginning, and then, uh, of course, you are given uh, the budgeted information uh, in this part, uh, uh, representing the uh, budgeted uh, information, and this one is the standard information. So, uh, uh, we go uh, beneath that, we are now given the actual uh, the actual information that we are given uh, in this section. So, this is representing the, the actual. So, uh, basically, this is uh, what we have. Then, on our question part, uh, it reads, calculate the following variances, clearly showing the formula used to state whether each variance is favorable or unfavorable, round off to two decimal places, are very important, uh, you have to round off to two decimal places where applicable. Then the first part, 4.1, uh, it requires you uh, to uh, calculate material price. So of course, uh, what is important to first put down the formula, so in terms of 4.1, So on 4.1, uh, we are saying material price. And our formula is equal to uh, standard price uh, minus uh, actual price, and then uh, we calculate by the actual quantity. So uh, this is our formula. So it, in that case, we have to uh, look at uh, and look for the standard price. So if you go the, to the information that we are given, we have the standard information at the beginning. So uh, the the standard price uh, that we are given, we are given it is 600 meters per meter. So it reads uh, 1.4 meters of leather at a standard price of 600, uh, at a standard of 600 runs per meter. So this is going to be our standard price. So basically we are saying this is our standard price. So we substitute in terms of standard price, whereby we put 600. Then we subtract the actual price. So actual price, uh, if you go there, actual information, we're given it here, uh, of which we're given it as 700, met 700 meters of lead that we're put in a total price of 455 francs. So we are not given it, but we can calculate it since the total price is 455,000, but uh, we have got a total of 700 meters. So you can say 455,000 divided by 700. So on well, the second part of the actual price, uh, we are saying uh, 400, 455,000. And then uh, we divide that by uh, 700 meters. And of course, uh, what we get uh, inside the brackets is what we have the actual actual quantity so actual quantity of course uh, we have identified it as 700 so it is 700 outside so with that we calculate it so if we further simplify it you see that uh it's, it's going to be 600 minus 455,000 divided by 700 uh, you're going to get it as 650 then uh with that you multiply it by by 700 so that's uh, what we have on that part and then um, we calculate, see that you are going to get a negative, uh, you're going to get a negative 35,000, which is going to be unfavorable. Whenever it's a negative, it's unfavorable. So you, uh, we indicate unfavorable. So we don't write uh, negative, but we uh, indicate our negative as unfavorable. So basically we are saying, if you subtract 600 minus 650, you're going to get a negative 50. And then you multiply by 700, you get a negative 35,000, which is, which we are not going to write as a negative, but we can just indicate instead of negative, we write uh, unfavorable. So basically, that's what we have on that part. And this becomes our final answer. So we go on to the next question, which leads us to calculate the material, uh, uh, material quantity. So in terms of material quantity, again, we have to come up with our formula, whereby we are saying 4.2, uh, we have material quantity. Uh, material quantity, which is equal to 
standard quantity uh, standard quantity minus actual quantity and then uh we as of that we get we multiply by our your standard price so with that uh we'll see that the standard quantity according to information that we have uh we check again uh we have our standard information at the beginning. So standard quantity, we would want to see uh, what do we have. Uh, if you look at it, we are only given that 1.4 meters of leather is equal to a uh, one bag. And it, as it is to make one bag, which is standard information, they use 1.4 meters of leather. So one bag requires 1.4 meters. Then we will now check how many bags we have produced using this, this standard uh, uh, quantity of meters per bag. We see that we, we have... Uh, 450 bags that were actually made. So in that case, uh, we multiply the 450 times the standard uh, requirement, 1.4 meters to get the standard quantity. So uh, basically we say 1.4 times 450 in brackets. Uh, so this is what we gave and then we subtract actual quantity. Uh, remember, uh, if you go to our actual parts, we are going to get the actual quantity of it. We have got 675 liters of leather we are used, which means this is the actual quantity. So this represents the actual, and the actual quantity is 675. So we substitute here, 675. And of course, uh, we are going to have a bigger bracket outside. And then standard price, uh, we know that standard price is we are giving it as uh, 600 as indicated here. This is our standard price 600, and then we can just substitute. So we further calculate it. We see that if you say 1.4 times 450, we are going to get it as 630. Then we, we subtract to 675. Uh, with that, we multiply with 600. So let's further calculate it. You see that uh, if you say 630 minus 775, you're going to get a negative, obviously. Uh, and then you multiply by 600, uh, you get 27,000, uh, 27, which is going to be a negative. And again, in this case, uh, if it's a negative, again, we indicate it as a unfavorable. So basically, that's how to have the part, and this becomes our final answer. So that's move on to the next part, whereby the next part leads us to calculate uh, labor rate variance. So we are now on labor rate variance. This is now of 4.3, and we have labor rate. So on labor rate again, uh, we put down the formula whereby it says standard rate minus actual rate, and then uh, we multiply by actual time. So we go to check the standard rate. So if we go to the information given, we see that uh, the standard information is here. Standard rate uh, we are given it is 180 rand per hour, three labor hours. It is standard rate of 180 per hour. So this is the standard rate. So basically we are saying this one indicates our standard rate. So 180 subtract the actual rate. So actual rates uh we go down to see on actual information. Yeah, here actual rates uh we see that the actual rate that we are given. We are given that 1,300 our labor hours were used in the total of labor cost of 240,500. So basically, we now divide 240,500 to get the um to get the actual rate. So we do that on the second part. Uh, we say our 240,500. Then we divide it by 1,300. Of course, uh, we close and put a, a bigger bracket. Then our actual, actual time, of course, our actual time is 1,300. So we multiply by 1,300. 
So basically, that's what we have. So with that now, uh, if you further simplify it, you're going to see that it becomes equal to 180 minus uh, 240,500 divided by 1,300, you get 185. And uh, obviously, the other that you are going to get, you multiply by 1,300. So you'd see that the final answer now obviously becomes a negative 180. Uh, if you say 180 uh, minus 185, of course, this is 185. And 180 minus 185, you get a negative, uh, a negative 5. Then you multiply by 1,300, we are going to get a negative 6,300. So we have got 6,300. And since it's a negative, we are going to indicate it as unfavorable. So basically, that's uh, what we have on 4.3. For 4.4, uh, we need to uh, calculate the labor efficiency variance. So obviously, we need to put down the formula first, uh, whereby we are going to say, uh, labor efficiency and of course uh, for our labor efficiency uh, in terms of the formula uh, we are going to see our standard time minus actual time times standard rate so we have our standard time subtract actual time and then uh, the answer that you get, uh, you are supposed to uh, multiply by your standard rate. So this is this is what we have. So on that part now, uh, you check in terms of your standard type. So we go to the standard uh part. So we need that uh one bank to make one bank. You need three labor hours. So we use at uh, the standard basis, we use in the actual uh, number of hours, and actual number of hours we have got, uh, sorry, using the uh, number of beds that we have. We have got uh, 450 beds uh, that were uh, made, uh, but we are saying one big uh, requires three labor hours on standard. So to get the standard hours, we say three times, uh, three times 450. So uh, we, substitute that uh, whereby we say three times 450 and then we close our brackets uh, we subtract the actual time so actual time again we have got the actual information whereby we are given it as 1300 labor hours so this is our actual time 1300 and then we subtract 1300 So uh, if you subtract your, uh, you subtract your standard rate, which is 1,300, uh, you are supposed to get your answer. Uh, obviously, if you say three times uh, 450, uh, you're going to get 1,350. Then you subtract your 1,300, and then you, uh, obviously, uh, in that case, uh, you're going to get it as a positive, which means this is going to lead us to a favorable. So in that case, uh, now here we close uh, with a uh, bigger bracket and then we multiply by the standard rate. So we check in terms of our standard rate. Remember we've indicated our standard rate is 180 here. So we uh, multiply by one well, we multiply by 180. And then we do that uh, three times 450, you get 1350. And then you subtract your 1,300. Uh, the answer, you, you multiply the 180. So basically, that's what we have on that part. So uh, we do that. Uh, you get a positive, a positive 9,000, which is 9,000 runs. And you said it's a positive, so it's going to be a favorable. So this becomes our final answer. So with that, uh, we move on to the next part uh, after our labor efficiency. We have a variable over its efficiency. So we check in terms of uh, the formula of variable, uh, variable over its efficiency.
So uh, the formula for variable over is efficiency uh, is equal to our standard time minus our actual uh, time, and then we multiply by the standard rate. So standard time, of course, we have our standard information. I remember standard time, uh, we calculated it as 1,350. That's the same uh, that we calculated the standard time. Uh, we are going to uh, multiply it uh, by, uh, we get it as 1,350. So we are going to use 1,350. Then uh, the actual time uh, is uh, we take in terms of our actual time, what do we have? 1,300. So subtract, we subtract 1,300. Then obviously we have to uh, close our bracket. So our standard rate, uh, we are going to uh, calculate it using the uh, using the budgeted uh, information. Uh, using the uh, the budgeted information, so we go to the budget information and see uh, what we have. Uh, of course, on budgeted we are here. So uh, we have got variable over is of 189,000, then we divide by our labor hours of 1,500. So that's how we're going to get the rate on 89,000 and divide it by 1,500. So we come here, uh, we say 189,000, uh, we divide by 1,500. So uh, we, uh, we simplify it further, 1,350 minus 1,300, we get it 50. So uh, if you if you subtract 1,350 minus 1,300, you get your 50, and then obviously uh, you see now 189,000 minus 1,500, you're going to get your answer is uh, 100 and uh, 126. So you multiply by 126. So with that, uh, you are going to get your answer is 6,300. And to remember, it's a positive here, so it could lead us to a favorable. So basically, that's what we have for that part. So this becomes our, our final answer. So from there, we'll move on to the next part, whereby the next part now requires us to calculate the fixed over the expense of variance. So we have fixed. Uh, fixed over his expense. It, uh, the formula says uh, budgeted fixed over his minus actual fixed over his. So in that case, we see that our budgeted information, we have it here. So budgeted uh, fixed over his, we are given it is 240,000. So we can uh, just substitute 240,000. 140,000 to subtract actual fixed overheads. So actual, we get it here is 236,000. And uh, we check in terms of our final answer. Uh, it's going to be 240,000 minus 236, we get a 4,000, a positive 4,000. So this is going to be favorable. So basically, this is what we have, guys, according to this uh, question of standard costing. Thank you for listening, and hopefully the video is helpful. And please, let's uh, tune again uh, in the next video. Yes, for this video, I'm out.